Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to start off welding up the fan support and it's going to be a 14 by 14 inch and it's going to go in the roof and let's get going. Alright guys, this is the fan we're going to use. It's the Max Fan Low Profile. And they're supposed to be pretty quiet, which is kind of nice. And this, this one specifically runs about 130 which cost-wise, that's not too bad. So let's walk over here and make sure it fits, because I haven't tried it yet. Okay, there it is. All right, let's move on. All right, so we need to put a support in for the underside of the front of the camper for the ACM panel to adhere to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a two inch strap of 1 8 inch material and we're gonna go ahead and tack weld it in. Okay. So now we're going to uh, work on the bed supports and we're going to run a 1 inch by 2 inch tube from the front to the back of the lower box and we'll go ahead and weld that up. We'll also go ahead and run a support over to the side and let's go ahead and weld that up too. Okay, I thought I'd check and see what the uh, deflection is on this from when I'm sitting on it. So I've got that set there and Put my weight on it completely. Looks like, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch. Not too bad. Okay guys, I got my window for the side. And it's a, a Rec Pro teardrop window, 15 by 18 inch. And I think they run about 140 bucks. Looks like it's made pretty good. It's got a screen. All right, let's go fit it in. Okay, so we have a problem on the window. I went by the dimensions and I even added an eighth of an inch in the width and height for extra, you know, just in case. And what I've run into is on the side here, if you can see it, the screws aren't screwed all the way in, and then they put seal over the top of the screws, but they didn't even go all the way around the screw. Really poor quality. I mean, the window looks good, but actual implementation, it's just junk. So I'll probably have to grind a little bit off here, and then I'll have to come in here and seal this up. When flipping the frame over every now and then I find a spot that uh, needs an extra weld or something. Now's a good time to do it when it's there.
Okay, after installing the window frame, I decided I'd uh, add a couple of uh, braces to the sides. Alright guys, we got all the welding done, and this is it. It's ready to go. All we have is one last thing to do, which is to mount these. I've, they're some old angle iron aluminum plates. I think they're three by one or two by one. Let's see, three by one. And what we're doing, uh, let's go over on this side where we can see it a little better. They will mount, they'll get welded right here. And then I'll put a T-slot in here, and then I'll bolt it right to it. Okay, let's go ahead and get these tabs welded on. Alright, we got our tabs all welded on, and we're ready to... Uh, Put siding on it and that'll be in our next video so hey guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps out thanks